Hi guys, it's Connor here from Door 43. So today I thought I would focus on something a little different and this was going to be around video games. So I appreciate they're not for everyone, but I feel like a significant number of people probably are playing games or have been playing games. So I thought it'd be good to talk about them. So for me, gaming has been a big help during lockdown as it's not just been something I enjoy but it's also been a way to immerse myself in another world of interesting characters and stories, maybe get a little bit of escapism from maybe some of the other stuff going on in the world. And it's helped me to feel challenged as well, practice overcoming obstacles and reaching goals, feel a sense of achievement as well from completing some games. And probably most importantly, it's helped me feel connected to some of my friends as well. So I've been using it to kind of catch up and talk and give us something to do while we do that. So in that sense, it's been really good for my well-being. Um, I mean, as with most things, it's important to have a healthy relationship with video games and play them responsibly and in moderation. So for me, I've been making sure to get a good balance of other activities and still connect to the real world as well. So although I might want to game all night long, it's, it's good to kind of have a break, do something else and to really appreciate it. I guess it's, you know, it's got to be fun. And um, what I would say is if, if you didn't feel you had a healthy relationship with video games and it was having a negative impact on you, I'd really encourage you to, to talk to someone you trust about it. So that could be a friend, a family member, your GP, or even one of us at Door 43. But when you do have a healthy relationship with gaming and it's something you enjoy, you can get some really positive experiences from it. Similar to that of maybe a good book or a film, especially as games are so diverse these days, some being really story driven, some focusing on socializing through cooperative or team-based games, some focused on challenging you and others providing more of a relaxing experience as well. As I said earlier, they, they allow us to immerse ourselves in different characters and worlds, even address difficult issues we may be facing in the real world feel a state of flow, which we know is uh, really good for our well-being. They help us feel challenged, as I said earlier, which again is good for our own well-being. And as I mentioned earlier, now more, maybe more than ever, there have been a way we can socialise with people around us, connect to others, um, especially while maintaining a social distance. So throughout the day, I'm going to be posting some information and links around well-being and video games, highlighting some games that may promote positive well-being, games that attempt to represent mental health, and a few gaming related activities you could try at home as well. So happy Friday, everyone, and speak to you soon.